Welcome Virgo. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Lover's Oracle, which doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a love reading, but if it ends up being that, it does. Also, Mystical Wisdom card deck and the Light Seers Tarot. Okay, let's get stuck into it, Virgo. Righty, three cards for Virgo, please. From the Lover's Oracle. Oh, that was going to jump out, but it didn't. Okay. Let's try again. Try again, shall we? Just finding the right cards for you, Virgo. Okay. Three cards for Virgo, please. There we go. First card out. Oh, that's a nice card. Haven't had that before. It's beautiful, actually. Okay. You're a little bit finicky today. Two more cards. Wow, that's gone flying across the room. Oh, two more. I feel like I need to put those last two back because I'm not sure which one is meant to come out. Okay, one more card for Virgo, please. That wasn't right. One more card. We know how we like them to come out, Virgo. to hold them there's a bit different holding cards that aren't perfectly shaped that only just fell out so I don't like that there we go that's it okay let me pick this other card up here okay there we go first card we have out here is balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges interesting yeah I suppose it's that thing right of sometimes just going oh whatever because I can't be bothered um even if you don't agree with what has been said surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out and all will work out this is really interesting I feel like some of you may be feeling quite vulnerable right now um, sort of like wearing your heart on your not just on your sleeve but your entire body like feeling as though there's no protection and sometimes we just need to let go What's this one? The past, it, this doesn't have a title. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. The path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Interesting, very interesting Virgo. Okay, two cards for balance for Virgo, please. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. I just wonder if for some of you, you would like to exit a relationship that you're in, maybe. Uh, I don't know if exit is, at least exit it in the sense of transforming it, I suppose. Two cards for balance for Virgo, please. Because it's kind of like you might really love the person that you're with. So it's not that you want to necessarily not be with them. But you also don't want things to carry on the way they are. And sometimes it feels like the only option is to leave. But that's not always the only choice, right? Because chances are the other person is feeling the same way. But it takes both to work of it at it that's the thing Virgo not only one person can do all the work it's not up to them it's the responsibility of both and you know Virgo apply this to your life how it fits because this could be to do with your work your um home life not in a relationship sense but 
with those around you okay um yeah anyway we've got um peacock here raise your standards yeah expect better expect better not only from those around you but also from yourself Virgo because you deserve better and this is the whole thing if we're not if we're not setting these standards for ourselves then those around us just think oh well it's fine because we tolerate what we tolerate right and so we it's up to us to say hey this is not cool anymore I actually this is what I would like to see happen and not in a way which is demanding and you do this and you do that not in that way but in a, a gentle way of um, approaching a situation now two cards for peacock please raise your standards and I feel like you know with this um, relationship whatever that relationship is for you Virgo could even be um, with family members as well um, that the supporting and the challenging is is well, first off, it's balance. Second of all, it's also um, something that is healthy, you know, because and, and also a safe environment and where you can say, actually, do you know what? I feel something different or that someone else can say that to you. Um, I don't feel that way. I actually see it this way. And all views and perspectives and opinions are you know respected by the other people in that environment so two cards for peacock please one card okay two cards yeah 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 see it it feels as though um this is really about a, a new way of doing things, learning a new way to do things because um, there's people in the situation, now whether this is you or not, I'm not entirely sure, but there are people who actually feel quite um, defeated and um, I feel as though it's a matter of learning to be assertive, not aggressive um and and also not going into yourself and being meek but becoming assert assertive because there's um i think what's really important here is to step back and look at the bigger picture of what it is that you're trying to achieve here okay with the relationship with your career um with any any um thing that is going on in your life this could be also a time to look at it and go is this worth pursuing? You know, to really sit down with other the other people involved and kind of brainstorm over that. How is everyone feeling here? You know, because um, there is a need for growth, uh, but how that is actually achieved is really, I think, something that everyone needs to sit down and bring their ideas and their desires and their needs to the table so that um, everyone can work out the best way to approach that, okay? The next card we have here is Seven Heavenly Virtues, Keys to Goodness. And I honestly feel like this is the way to approach this, okay? Um, to get the balance in not just your life, Virgo, but everyone else's who is impacted by this, okay? So two cards for he seven heavenly virtues for Virgo, please. And, you know, the thing is that there could be um, children involved in this, if this is to do with your family and your family, you know, your direct family life. Um, obviously, if they're teenagers... Give them a voice. Let them sit down. Let them and be open to them honestly telling you this is how this is impacting me, you know. If, say, for example, this is just an example. Um, if, say, you and your, your partner could be fighting um, or arguing or whatever, um, that this is impacting 
those in that environment. And so it's very important for you to open yourself up to receive how that is impacting them. That is purely an example, okay? But yeah, see, this is really about you stepping into this energy of, this is my empire that I am in charge of here. And I want to bring everyone together to be on the same page so that we can all contribute to this empire actually um, being able to grow it together and succeed so we can look at it as something that we are proud of, okay? And um, rather than just one person dictating what should happen, okay? So very, very important. Okay, so the next card... I just love that picture. I feel like there's some hurts that need to be um, worked through for you, some healing that needs to be done, okay, potentially in past relationships, but it doesn't have to be relationships because we can have a real hard time at work um, with our friends, with our families, whatever, right? So, yeah, there's some work that needs to be done here, but let's have a look further into this. Two cards for surrender for Virgo, please. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Two cards. First card. Mm. Next card. There it is. Okay, so this first card here. Face your fears. Release the power of fear. Yeah, and this could be this fear of surrendering. It's kind of like if we let go of the control, right, what's actually going to happen? You know, if we actually open ourselves up to, for people to come in and say, you know what, this really sucks. This is what it's doing to me. This is how it's impacting me. Or even if you're the one going in and having to do that, that's scary. That's some real scary stuff. Um but it's also necessary for growth to happen. You know, and when I'm looking at this picture here and seeing the hearts all over the body, you know, this is really, I suppose, also about going, hey, this is how I'm feeling. Like actually becoming vulnerable. And that is scary because we don't know what people are going to do with that. It's like handing handing your fears to someone and going, here you go, hopefully they don't use it against me or throw it in my face or whatever, you know. Um, but yeah, I kind of feel like it's also necessary because no one really knows how we truly feel until we let them know. And so this is necessary for you, Virgo. Okay, so two cards for Face Your Fears. yeah 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 here's the thing here Virgo is this is you know letting go of everything inside of your mind all the things that are completely keeping you in turmoil okay um in order to rise above a situation because um I feel as though it's actually more surrendering the thought process, the fears um, which are keeping this um, balance from happening in your life. Okay, I can't hold all those cards like that. It's just not, not clever enough. Um, sorry, I am clever enough to do that. We don't do that. It's just they were a little bit wonky. Anyway, Virgo, um, you know, this, this is the, I think this is the fear of not being able to achieve 
this great relationship right that if I say something if I go against the grain if I if I do anything instead of just shutting up um, it's going to cause a problem but the fact of the matter is that there's more of a problem when you're not saying anything because this actually prevents you from you know being able to stand in your power or shine your light and if this is other people needing to do this, um, it, I feel like, Virgo, it's up to you to open the floor for that to happen. Okay, so not only you can do that, but other people can too. Now, one thing I want to say about that is when you go, to do, go and do that, because you need to have a release, remember that you have to be in a position to um, allow other people to have that um, release and that, have that conversation without jumping down their throat or without getting defensive. It's a matter of sitting in a mutual place and, and, and surrendering and, and allowing them to surrender as well. Okay, it's kind of like laying all your cards on the table and going, okay, let's start again here. Because when you get down to the ultimate goal of what it is that you all really want, that bigger picture, all these nitty gritty little things, really don't matter get everyone on the same page wipe the slate clean and go let's start again okay so originality blaze your own trail yes do things differently from how they've always been done right show everyone look this isn't working this way that we've been doing things let's try another way so two cards for originality please here we go. Look at that already. Three cards, actually. Wow. 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 Yeah. I'm going to try and do this with two hands because I can. Okay. So here we go. Right. Clear communication. You know, what you're actually going to be able to achieve that with that is going to be incredible. And I actually think it will potentially blow your socks off. Okay. Um, because... You know, this is this is sort of conjuring up a new way to do things, but I feel like the communication is key. But do you know what I kind of see this is when when also you put love into everything and you really come from the heart rather than from the ego, right? Um, that I feel like whatever is being mixed up here is going to explode into something incredible. Okay, so the next card here is, what does it say again? Hang on a minute, let me just get these cards. So two cards for this card. The past is now behind you, release it and embrace it. New possibilities, sorry, release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Yes, two cards for that please. Here's the first card, Battle of the Blues, okay. I think this is really, you know, having faith that this can be achieved here, Virgo, because, you know, when we when we think, oh, yeah, I could do that, but it's not going to work, then it's not going to work. You know, it really is having the faith of, of not only yourself being able to achieve this, but everyone else around you as well, okay? And that's what I feel like Battle of the Blues is saying here. And it says, take steps towards a positive change. Yep, it really is cutting away um, all, the, all the debris here. Um, and the thing is, Virgo, really, really being honest about how you feel rather than what you think, okay? Two cards for Battle with the Blues. And, and I, I seriously feel like it's a matter of you sitting down and feeling out those emotions and seeing what those are just on your own first before you bring them to the table because um, get clear on that, okay? So that you can confidently say, this is how I am feeling because I feel like people around you need to hear what you feel. So, yeah, that was, no, okay. Okay, so there it is. There's the cards. Okay, so, yes, getting this balance right. I, I feel as though taking your time to not not going full steam ahead not rushing into anything taking your time to get your own emotions balanced out 
become clear like I've just said become clear be, like don't just go charging in I feel like that there is this um this time here that is needed for yourself in order to you know kind of like um wade your way through it in a sense get rid of what you know because sometimes sorry let me finish that get rid of what it is that you don't really need to you know bring to the table or pick at or whatever because sometimes we like I said before we look at the little things and that's not really um you know it's not going to actually help um when when we're looking at that bigger picture um those little picky things aren't going to help resolve things so that the bigger picture can be looked at that's what I'm trying to get out okay so the next card here is leadership set your goals yeah man be the leader you know be the one to stand up and say hey let's sort this out you know two cards for leadership for Virgo please two cards and and I feel like by doing this you're also um you also um kind of like come out of this thing of well they haven't done it so why should I why should I be the one to do that you know that's that really isn't helpful to the situation okay you know, because I what I'm feeling like is there's this for some people, and it may not be you, it could be those around you, but I feel like you kind of need to um just let that surrender, just let that go, right? Don't let that get to you. Um, because you know, it's sort of this thing of like, well, they did this and they did that, so why would I, you know, but those are all the sorts of things that need to be wiped out in order to start afresh okay so we have yeah the seven of cups here um really choosing your words choosing how you approach it okay um and realizing what you were doing it for okay because ultimately um you know you want this happy ever after which it's not really about the happy ever after it's more virgo about what are you growing okay what is it at you're growing here because when we were talked about the with this card here really looking at that and this is what you were aiming towards right at the beginning right and so this is assessing now where are you at on that journey and um, is everyone still on the same page to get to that or has people's visions changed because I think in order for to get to this, for this to work, everyone needs to get back on the same page. Okay, right. I'm going to leave that with you, Virgo. Please take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.